I just scoped a patient with Crohn's disease and what stood out for me was how anemic they were. Unfortunately, this is something I see quite frequently in my clinic. I'm Dr. Pranab, I'm a gastroenterologist and I've been looking after patients with IBD for over 25 years, much of that time in London before moving uh, to my practice in Dubai currently. What still surprises me during this time is how little awareness there is among people with Crohn's or colitis about iron deficiency. And that's why I made this video. It's more common than flare-ups themselves. And that's because inflammation in the gut can cause slow bleeding and poor absorption of nutrients like iron. And on top of that, people with IBD are on restricted diets, which often limits the amount of iron that they take in. Fatigue is one of the most common symptoms, but you can even have things like hair loss, brain fog, other symptoms like uh, shortness of breath, heart palpitations, pale skin. Now, iron deficiency anemia is common, but it's also one of the most treatable parts of the condition. If your ferritin, which is a measure of iron stores in your body, is low, then you're likely to have iron deficiency and it needs treatment. If you're in remission and feeling well, oral iron is fine up to one tablet of 100 milligrams of elemental iron every day. But if you're flaring, uh, then um, IV iron is usually the better option. It's better absorbed, works faster and easier on the gut. And while treatment is key, food matters too. And I'll be posting a follow-up video on iron-rich foods that are gentle on the gut. So keep an eye out for that.